It's only a little something But why does it feel like it's true something We just vibe and we just crazy, baby Okay, so Hi YouTube, it's Carlisa Victoria If you guys are following my channel then you already know who I am. If you are not following my channel, then I am Curly to Victoria. I am back with another video. Um, this video is going to be hopefully quick. I'm just going to get to the point. Basically, guys, I just got out the shower. My hair looks a mess. I haven't done anything to my hair today. It was just skipped back in a ponytail, um, a low ponytail today, and I had on a cap. I went to the gym. I just, you know, did some basic things today that I needed to get done. So I didn't even focus on my hair. I didn't do anything. I don't have any weave in my hair right now no extensions it's just my natural state hair i was gonna wash it and condition it and all that but i realized that i'm sleepy so the last thing i want to do right now is to have wet hair and go to bed in the cold so let's fast forward and get right into this video so basically i as you can tell by the title of this video why I upped my green intake so basically when you eat um, fruits and vegetables and things like that even sometimes bad uh, food what will happen is those foods will allow for the toxins in your body to come out and a lot of times when those toxins come out they come out through your skin so if you guys can see my chest you can see my neck you can see my face I've been experiencing like um, breakout but I definitely think it's hormonal related because I was never a person who got like acne or anything like that and I always wash my face I always you know wash my body and I constantly get this like breakout now here and there I feel like I'm able to manage it and I don't know if I'm like allergic to something outside if I'm allergic to an ingredient that's in things that I use because I always end up getting this like breakout and it's like it flares up at certain times in the year like sometimes it's worse than other days and other times it's like oh what breakout so I definitely and I drink a lot of water so I know that it can't be a lack of water and I don't eat meat so I know that it can't be meat that's causing me to break out like I eat fruits and vegetables so all I'm saying is there's more to it than just a normal breakout but of course when I up my water intake way more than what I usually drink then I do start to see it become a little bit milder as well as when I focus on my face wash routines. I have this one. I have about 10 different face washes and I'm really big on not using the same face wash every single day or every single week. Like I like to rotate out my face washes simply because it's like anything. If you grow immune to something then does it really start does it still um, work you know like is it a, as effective like if I use the same product over and over like at, e at some point it's not going to do what I need it to do because you know the usage is like overused so I like to switch up my face wash which has worked well for me over the years and things like that and I just you know some face washes all have different purposes like this one um, it's called acne control and I wanted to try it out it's called is by st. Ives and it might be Eve's spell the eye when I say eyes I don't know um basically this is a exfoliating factor on the back you can see it says it's I don't know if you can see that but it says deep so this is like a deep exfoliating factor my other one is mild but I saw these in the store and I wanted to pick them up because First, it said new look and then 100% natural um, made with 100% natural exfoliant. So, of course, natural no-brainer. I wanted to pick it up um, and see what it was about. It does smell good. It's, of course, um, the flavor is apricot. Scrub, it's an apricot scrub and I don't know. It's, it's really good. So, what I like to do is I like to wash my hands first. I did just take a shower, but still for the sake um, of cleanliness, I'm going to go ahead and do this i have a brush that i exfoliate on my skin with but in the beginning i like to just kind of evenly distribute my face wash onto my face like such like so again guys forgive me in my hair but hey what's up it's friday 
people out partying. I'm trying to get my skincare routine because your girl got to look good for the summer. Your girl got to look good. Oh, and your girl's about to have a birthday. Your girl birthday coming up soon. Skin needs to be glowing. Flawless, scenty. So, um, my face is not really the problem that breaks out the most. I would say it's my neck. My jewelry is real jewelry. I don't wear fake, uh, like, $2 jewelry and stuff like that. Unless it's a choker or something. But all that other stuff, I, I don't really do that because I can't be dealing with, um, breakout and stuff from no jewelry. I'll do that. However... I have taken off my jewelry because a lot of times I don't like to like use my face wash and all that. I don't like to use all that stuff and my jewelry be on. I mean, I know that, you know, like 24 karat, 10 karat, all those different carats can sustain that. But why do it when you don't have to? Like, I don't mind taking a shower with my necklaces on, you know, because I'm not prominently focused on scrubbing where my necklaces are. I lift them up and yeah, I clean. But when it comes to something like this, an exfoliating mask, I'm not trying to have my jewelry on and have all of this face wash scum left up in the jewelry days after. Simply because it was so thick and exfoliating and now it's all in my open chains of my necklaces. So I take off the jewelry, which I'll be having another video that's gonna come up talking about why I take off my jewelry for my um cleanse but you guys see I'm carrying this all the way to the shoulders I'm carrying it everywhere I see that there is a little bit of breakout even if it's a couple spots of breakout and this feels really good because it's exfoliating so I'm just using my fingers to rub it in yes like I said I have an exfoliating brush but for right now my fingertips are clean and this feels just wonderful definitely feel it working and I'm just gonna keep circular motion onto my skin and I love washing my face especially when my hair is like in its natural state because I feel like unbothered and everything I feel like can't nobody tell me nothing I don't care what my hair look like because your girl can get that full face wash in I'm just basically getting this scum out of my nails and stuff. And I don't leave this on for very long. I'm not sponsored by this company. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm using. But if you guys want to test it out, you won't be disappointed. I think it's a good exfoliator. Whether it worked for you or not, can't really tell you. Um, however, so... As I said, treatment for acne to help any of that, like pimples, blemishes from forming. So I guess it's like a, it's a blockage because it said from forming. Um, only for external use, of course. Um, skin irritation and dryness is more likely to occur if you use another topical acne medication at this time. So you can get um, skin dryness if you're using different topical um so then the directions just tell you to dispense the scrub onto your fingertips as I did and massage onto damp skin. Um, spread in small circular motions, then rinse and glow for the best results three to four times a week. I don't use it three to four times a week because, like I said, I rotate out my face washes, but this could get used at least a couple times out the week if I feel like I need a deep exfoliator. Um, keep in mind, too, as I got out the shower, my skin is still kind of like I'm dried off. But, you know, when you get out of a hot shower, you still kind of feel like moisture, like you feel kind of like a little bit of moisture, like condensation or something on you or what have you. Um, so my skin was a little bit moist as I was rubbing the face wash into my skin and my face. So I'm just letting this sit here. It tells me about three to four times a week. I don't have anywhere to go, so I can keep my face wash cool. But guys, anyway. So I upped my greens because one, I just needed to, when I um, eat greens, I drink greens. Um, when I put it in my smoothie and I eat my spinach, like today for dinner, I had crab cake and I had just a large salad. Like I had like almost half a bag of a salad and that's what I ate for dinner. Um, 
and I probably drank like two or three additional water bottles after dinner and I had ginger ale so basically it's that thing of up in my green intake is a good detox for me and I definitely know that detoxing your insides is one of a great thing but also detoxing your skin is another thing and like I said toxins come out when you are detoxing so that's a good thing and you know toxins are coming out of your um I'm getting this face washed off everywhere toxins are coming out of your skin as you're eating these foods and they even they're good for you but the way I look at it is you got to be out with the old in with the new so those toxins have to come up out of your body out of your skin it has to come out and they you know they come out and they look really gross you know you might see these come to a head these bumps you might see all these things come to a head and you might look your worst before you look your best and I feel like I've gotten through that rough stage and now I'm starting to look mild and before you know I'm gonna look like I'm glowing just simply because when I've upped my green intake and I've upped my fruits and vegetables and all the things that can help the toxins come out and secondly I also um, upped my water intake way more than what I usually drink so you know I've been trying to go for at least eight um, bottles of water I know they say drink half your body weight half your body weight or whatever and when I do drink half my body weight it's wonderful but of course if you can drink more water then it's more power to you so this is just um this specific brush that I use is called Danielle Creation um or Danielle no it's Danielle I, I don't know why I saw one L for a second but it's Danielle Creations and I like it because it goes from high to low to off setting so it gives me two different options I have already wet my bristles and I am going to start to just work my way from my face down to my neck down to my upper chest as you guys can see this feels really good the bristles are probably moving so fast that I'm just going in a circular motion just allowing the face wash to exfoliate my skin and really take its time like I said it's Friday I'm not in a rush to do anything to go anywhere I'm just trying to pamper myself um, a little bit because I know that I need to focus on me. I need to focus on the health of my skin, the health of my life, the health of my body, the health of my, my goals, my vision, all of that. You know, that's all connected. Your mind, your body, your soul, all that stuff is connected. So you have to take time for you. You know, so many people would demand your time, want your time, and, you know, all of that. And you will give it to them being the person that you are if you're anything like me. You know, devoted, kind, loyal, you know. Um, but sometimes you have to say enough is enough. And it's not saying that the person is aggy or the person is, you know, annoying. It's just imagine being available or making yourself available, making time for everyone. To where you barely have time for yourself and it's like even if you do one thing with one person it's like so many other people are wanting your time or you have just you know like obligations that you have to do outside of people wanting your time and even if it's one thing from each area of your life when you think about how many hours you have in a day and you think about your week it's still consuming a lot from you so i just rinsed out my bris bristles i'm gonna keep on going but yeah, it's still consuming a lot of you and you have to ask yourself like, am I going to keep doing this or am I going to make time for me? Because trust me, the people you make time for wouldn't think twice about making time for you like that unless, you know, they haven't talked to you in a while or they see that you're doing good and now all of a sudden, you know, maybe they need to link up. And I'm just, I'm just rambling, but I'm just speaking facts right now. You know, so it's like you have to be careful. You have to protect your energy because not everyone is going to be you, you know. And, so, and I've had to realize that, like, I'm not perfect by anything. But I think the loyalty that I give and the type of person that I am, you know, like, 
I can't help that because that's who I am. But in a sense, I have to help that because you can't continue to keep giving so much to where you give everything and you have nothing left for yourself. That's it. Not only is that no fun, but that's not living. How do you get your things done when you're always trying to, you know, either entertain or support or do something else for someone else? And don't get me wrong. When I say support, I'm not saying don't support people because I'm big on support and, you know, um, I'm big on giving credit to where credit is due. I'm just saying in your process of doing that for other people, make sure that you make time for yourself. You support your businesses. You support yourself. You take some time to go get your nails and your toes done. You take some time to do your face wash. You take some time to do stuff. Because if you don't, you will find yourself stressed out. And other people probably won't be as stressed as you. Because some people are only conceited. They're only concerned about themselves. And other people, you know, they're just not going to let it get to them. And then you have the other people who, they just... They just think that stress is life. So, you know, you don't want to get into any of those categories where, you know, you're so nonchalant that you miss out on the things that you're supposed to, the finer things in life, being caught up on the things that either no longer serves you or are not your responsibility to catch up on. So, you know, you have to be mindful and you have to be attentive alert aware you know of what's going on around you and you know um keep tabs on the people who matter to you but you have to focus on you too and that's the big thing as you grow you glow and as you you know make progress in your life you start to see things from a different angle a different perspective i feel like i'm taking a whole nother shower just because i could feel the exfoliate um exfoliant like made it to my shoulders like so I'm just gonna keep rinsing just because um, I'm not gonna use the brush to like get this all off just because I want to do this like this just because I can feel the exfoliating exfoliating cream more like this and I know that I'm getting it all off But my face, my skin, my, it feels amazing right now. It feels very, very clean. Okay. So then I'm going to take a towel. And I'm just going to very careful when you wipe your face I know it's self explanatory but start with your eyes start with your eyes okay because if you do have any product you want to make sure your eyes is the focal point okay without your eyes you can't see the rest so I'm just gonna dry all of this off and as you guys can see and mind you like have a natural hair or just hair in general yes we have natural oils in our um, hair but also using products and stuff they drain down your face they you know you have your hands in your hair and then you have your hands on your skin like just no-brainer type of stuff can also be the cause so you definitely want to you know try to make sure yeah moisturize your hair I'm not telling you to be dry or what have you but just think about that like oil draining down your face or the edge control anything draining from your neck like it's getting on to you so make sure you you know factor that so as you guys can see I mean I don't know if you could tell but you can still see the breakout but to me because I know what my breakout was looking like it looks like it has mild down a little bit I don't think it's not completely gone of course not but it's milder than what it what it was doing so you know like I've been focusing on trying to leave as much skin out as I can so you know if I wear a tank top or something this is out is not attractive but I want to leave it out because I want it to breathe I don't want to keep suffocating it with garments or suffocating you know putting on a turtleneck or things like that because it is hiding what I am trying to clear 
So I'm gonna keep drinking my water. I just finished my water bottle. I'm gonna fill up another one. Probably gonna be using the bathroom a lot during the night because I keep drinking so much water just trying to flush my body. Um, so I'm gonna end up doing that. And you guys let me know what you think about this face wash routine. Let me know, do you guys use a brush? Like, do you guys use a, I know you can hear that. Maybe you can see the bristles going too. I know you can at least hear it. But anyway, do you guys use this when you do your face wash? Do you not use like a bristle brush? Do you just use your fingertips? Do you wash your hands before you wash your face? Do you do it in the shower? How do you guys wash your face? I would like to know what your face wash routine is. If you like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed because there's many viewers who keep coming back to my channel and viewing and we would love to have you subscribed um if you are on social media then follow me on instagram if you're looking to get anything from my collection then definitely go visit my instagram at curly's victoria collection link in the bio for the website i'll also drop that link in the comment section below i'm a little tired right now but i think the goal is to go get some water and finish that water bottle while I'm uploading this video. So hopefully you guys will be able to get this video tonight. Let me know what you think. Up your greens, up your water intake, switch out your face, excuse me, switch out your face wash. Remember to keep you as a priority in your life. Um, and just stay happy. Remember you stay happy and you, you know, you keep glowing as you keep going. And I promise you, life will be as good as you as you are in life. Even when you feel like you're going through everything and you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, keep pushing forward. Keep striving. The only time you lose is when you quit. So never quit. Keep going. You don't have any motivation, then make sure you go read a book. Join me in the 52 Books in 52 Weeks Challenge. If you haven't seen that video, then go look at that video but stay motivated call a friend look up you know some some motivation do something to keep you actively going just because you're caught in the nine to five or you're caught in whatever dilemmas that are holding you back from being the person that you want to be remember that just small strides will lead you to bigger processes bigger paths bigger you know you have to start small before you can grow big in anything you do so be sure to make sure you take your time while you're slowly progressing in the small stages. Because when you know how to handle much with the small, you will know how to handle much with the big. So thank you guys again. I'm not going to rant anymore. I already gave you a face wash routine. I'm probably going to shoot another motivational video soon. But let me know what you guys think. Again, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Okay. All right. Until next time, guys. Only your love is something. Boy, does it feel like it's true something?